now you can. Getting fit and looking fabulous doesn't have to be all hard work. My latest home exercise program is fun. <laughs> it's challenging. Only minutes a day, and best of all, it really works. Introducing my abs and back workout. They're challenging, they're interesting, and anybody can do them. After a month of using Lisa's video, I tighten my belt by two notches. This video really gets to work on those abdominals. It's effective. But the key to my abs and back workout is balance. To achieve balance, opposing muscle groups must work as a team. That's why I developed a fully comprehensive abs and back workout. When other fitness products can neglect the two components of this winning combination. And because the program works with your own body weight, there's no need for a bulky or expensive apparatus. Order your Lisa Dow abs and back workout today and you'll also receive Lisa's abs, bums and thighs workout. That's 20 minutes of personal training, valuable advice and motivation, absolutely free. Two videos at $39.95. As well as abs, bum and thighs, your bonus video also includes my latest low impact workout, complete with an exertion intensity chart. You better believe it, this one's a winner. The workouts in this video all offer optional intensity levels, giving you the power to alter the challenge of the workout as your fitness increases. That's great value. To order your Lisa Dow abs and back workout, call 0800 802 800. You'll receive the ABT and low impact cardiovascular workouts absolutely free. My videos are easy to follow, they're fun, they work, and they come with a 30 day money back guarantee, so don't delay. Call 0800 802 800 and just do it! Hi, and welcome to the Low Impact Workout. I'm Lisa Dow. For our workout today, there are two words we'll need to become familiar with, impact and intensity. With impact, you can have a low impact workout, which simply means is that during your workout, one foot will remain on the floor for most of the time. Or you can have a high impact workout, which simply means that during your workout, both feet can become elevated off the floor at any time. Or you can have a high low impact workout, which simply means a mixture of both. With intensity, Intensity will refer to how challenging something is. And for our purposes today, we could have a low, moderate, or high intensity workout. Our program includes a 25 minute, moderate intensity, low impact workout, and finally a cool down stretch. Now to monitor our intensity, we'll be referring to the rating of perceived exertion chart, which has been included in your program. The chart is numbered from 1 to 10, and your exertion level should correlate with one of those numbers. For instance, during our workout, we'll be working between the numbers 3 and 8. If you don't feel you're working hard enough, follow group A. If you need to bring your intensity down a bit, best to follow group B. Well, let's meet the cast. Over here with group B, we have Trudy. Hi. We have Felice. Hello. We have Andrew. Hi we have Willie. We have Joanne, and in Group A, we have Marcy, Hi. we have Linda, Hi. and we have Lisa. Hi. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I think we're ready. Let's just do it. All right, march it out. Let's do the arms, slowly. Now, let's just march it out again. the top. Arms slowly again. Bring it up. All right. Double time. Let's go. Hey. And again and again. Add the leg. One more. Give me a step touch. Bye. 
One last time. We got it. <laughs> Step, tuck, and tuck. Kick. And again. Tap and thump. <laughs> and again. Easy walk. Step, tuck. Two more. Step, tuck.
we're gonna turn. Great find. Move it on back. Make your choice. Hi, and welcome to the Abs and Back Workout. I'm Lisa Dow. Fact, during a recent international survey, individuals were asked what part of the body did they wish to tone the most? Universal answer, the abdominals. So with that answer in mind, we'd like to offer you information concerning the abdominals, what exercises proved to be the most suitable, how to modify them, and finally, what exercises are suitable to concentrate on the opposing muscle group, the back. Strong abdominals are simply essential for a healthy back, and it's incredible to think that over $50 billion are spent on medical each year worldwide for problems associated with general back discomfort. What do we do each day? We bend, we lift, we twist, we hold on to, just to name a few. Well, considering our trunk links the top half to the bottom half, the more efficient our core is, the better to ensure proper postural stability. Our program will include a five to seven minute warm up, a 20 minute program, and finally a cool down stretch. You will have a choice of two groups to follow. Group A will offer a higher intensity workout, while group B will always offer a modified version. Let's meet the cast. Group B, we have Willie, we have Felice, <laughs> we have Marcy, we have Lisa. Hi. Group A, we have Andrew, Hi. we have Linda, we have Joanne, Hi. and we have Trudy. I think it's time that we just do it. Yeah. yeah. All right, march it out, right foot. All right, three, two, one. Clap it, and double squat down. Get it down. Uh-huh, let's do that one again. Three, two, one, hey. Double squat down. Do it again, just because. Double squat down. All right, let's take that to the right. Here we go. Double squat down, now to the left. This time, we'll add a foot. Toe tap twice, Hup. left side. This time, let's add the arms. Here we go. Reach right and around, to the left. Reach left and around, and again and again. To the right and around, last time. From here, leg curl, leg curl. Knee lift, and again. And again and again. How are we doing so far? All right, one more time. Okay, everyone, easy walk, right leg. And again. Two more. All right. Wide to the right. Look right. Up. Let's put it together. Take it to the right. Let's go from the top. From here. Give me that leg curl. Knee lift. Easy walk. Left foot. Wide to the left. Wide to the right. Looking good. Take it to the left. Let's go. From here, leg curl, knee lift, right leg easy, wide to the right, let's go on, great find, great find, looking good, two more, now this time, do it again, give me a step touch, reach forward, great find to the left, step touch, this time we'll add direction. Quarter turn right, great fine. Quarter turn left, great fine. Quarter turn right, great fine. 
Quarter turn left, let's add on. From the top, let's go. Hey, uh-huh, looking good. Leg curl, knee lift, left foot, easy. Left wide, right wide. Take it to the left, let's go. Bring it out and around. Leg curl, knee lift, right foot, easy. Right wide, let's go. Look, other side. Great find, let's go. Quarter turn, to the left. Quarter turn, left set everyone. We're almost there. Yeah, left side. Okay, squat tap. Let's do our stretches, yes. What we're gonna do now is a slight diagonal to the right. Keep this going. The arms are on either side of the trunk. Two more. Now bring the left leg down, keep the arms going. Count down. That's four, three, two, and you're gonna hold. And rolling up and clap on three. Hey, we're almost there. Up, up, two more. Arms, do it up, hey. Up, down, back, clap. Last two. As you're gonna see, some of us are gonna disappear and get some mats. And we're gonna start to get ready for our abdominal and back workout. Thanks, you guys. Now, as they're setting up the mats, I'm gonna talk to you for a quick second. Here's a towel, obviously. You may use a towel or a pillow, whatever's comfortable. Sometimes during abdominal work, you'll find that you have a difficult position to hold and you sometimes hyperextend your neck. If you find you're one of those people, simply have a towel or pillow, place it behind your head so that when you're lying down, you'll be in a more comfortable position and I'll show you that right now. Thanks, everybody. All right, let me give you a better idea of what I was talking about. If you're one of those people that feel discomfort, simply take your pillow or your towel and place it in back of your head and perform your abdominal exercises. Okay? All right, everyone, we're ready. Let's start with our feet close to our bums, and we're now going to walk our feet away until we feel we cannot keep our back flat and straight on the floor anymore. Wherever that place may be is your personal comfort zone to conduct your abdominal exercises. All right, we're gonna place our hands across our chests so that you have a better view of our back. Is that the oblique muscles are taken for granted and they're very important for postural stability. Here's the countdown, end it. Four, end it. Three, everyone center, center, center. Hold, hands behind. Let's go for that walk again. Are we ready? Small range of motion. Group A, hands behind the head. Everyone, go away and center. All right, we're almost done with the second exercise. <laughs> we're almost there. Group A, I think it's almost that time. I'm sorry. Hey, let's change the arms. Let's go. It's a lat pull. Center. Lat pull. Center. Uh-huh. You don't want to be here too long. And if you're doing the exercises correctly, you should be able to reach your overload quickly. Here is four. And it's three. And two. Everyone hold it up. Hold. This is called an isometric contraction. Isometric contraction simply means the muscle is under a contraction and or resistance, but the muscle length or size stays unchanged. Release it down. The isometric contractions are very hard. Okay, let's turn over again. Okay, we're now going to start with an exercise that's gonna concentrate on our middle trapezius and then a shoulder press. Are we ready? Six, seven, eight. Middle trap, reach up. Let pull and release. Other side. So what's really important about this entire video is that we're offering work to opposing ends and sides of a very important part of our body, the trunk. 
and we're almost halfway done. Group two, group A. Group A is now going to offer a bilateral movement, meaning two. That's it, bring it up, reach forward, hold down, and release. Every time we lift on the count of one, here is one, we're offering that upper back hyperextension. Every time we do the abdominal curl, we're offering a trunk flexion. So this video is really quite important for opposing muscle groups and therefore muscular balance. Last time, everyone, that's it. Let's now go for our most intensified and challenging exercise. Are we ready? Let's go. Extend and release. And I'll break this down very shortly. As you can see on the bottom half, we're offering a hip extension. Hamstring work is involved and buttock. With our trunk, we're offering trunk extension. With our arms, we're offering tricep work. With our shoulders, we're offering shoulder extension. Now let's lengthen it, lengthen it. One, two, now this gets a bit intense. So what you can't do today, release everyone. You can certainly try again tomorrow. And we push. And group A, are you ready? Let's go, here we go. One, two, three, reach forward, lat pull, reach forward, pull in, release. Oh boy, it's getting intense. But just think, when you can offer this exercise to your body effortlessly, just think of how far you've gone. And again, how are you group A? We're working hard. <laughs> Do you believe you can actually laugh and talk through all this? Group B, how are you? <laughs> I didn't hear an answer too quickly from group B. One more time and we'll call it quits. And reach, pull down, and that's it. And simply hold. Oh boy. Okay, we're now going to turn around for our last abdominal exercise. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're going to start in a brief... Hey. hey, how you doing? Hi, and welcome to the ABT Workout. I'm Lisa Dow. Perhaps the most common areas of the body to concentrate on would be just about everything from the neck downward. And it is fair to say that the areas from the mid to the lower extremities are magnets for fat storage. It is important to include aerobic work within your weekly exercise schedule to help control weight. However, right now, our workout is going to include exercises to target the abdominals, the bum, and the thighs. Our program will include a five to seven minute warm up, a 20 minute program, and finally a cool down stretch. The Dynaband included is an optional apparatus for those who wish to have a more challenging workout. And finally, you'll have a choice of two groups to follow. Group A will offer a more intense workout, while Group B will offer a modified version. Well, I think it's time to meet the cast. Group B, we have Linda. Hi. We have Marcy. Hi. We have Andrew. Hi. And we have Trudy Landon. Thanks, Lisa. You're welcome. In Group A, we have Willie. We have Lisa. We have Joanne, and we have Felice. <laughs> well, what do you think, you guys? You ready? Sure. Uh. Let's do it. Just do it. Ready? March it out. Squat tap, everyone. Add the single arms. All right. Give me eight more. Eight. Counting down. Let's now go to a double-double. Let's go. And again. Single, hit it. Double-double. Single, single, do it again. Double-double. Single, leg curl. Thank you. 
now, heel up and down, bicep curl, shoulders over hips and lunging down. We're gonna stay here for a minute. It's almost gone. <laughs> We're gonna show you a combination. Everybody ready? One back, one side, one forward, landing heel ball toe, now side. Let's do it again. Hip flexor, breathing in, and now melting down, everyone. The left leg is turned out, right knee is slightly relaxed to stretch the belly of the hamstring muscle. Let's roll it up, clap on three. Let's do that again, again, again. Now let's add some arms. Hey, bring it up, down, butt, clap. Hup. And again. <laughs> All right, everyone, give me a squat tap. We're going to stay with this. Now, true. 
Cody, I know you're looking really forward to this one. Here we oh, go. Yeah. It is our drag <laughs> continual. Now with this, whether you're on a carpet or a wooden floor like this, I always say you want to burn rubber. I want you to think of landing with the heel, dragging the heel ball toe, shoulders over hips. In fact, Trudy, what happens with this one exercise? As you're moving to the side here, you actually need to shift your body weight across you're landing your body weight dead center of your feet. Excellent. Couldn't have said it better. Two more times, you guys. This is one. Starting with the left. From the top, go. Bring it up. And usually that one count. Pretty. Well, we're now ready to put on our banana bands. You didn't think that that was part of our costuming. <laughs> we're placing it above our knees. Shoulders over hips. Are we ready? All right. Hip abductions. Go. Now you're going to start noticing right away that we're doing two different things. That's all right. We're going to work the right leg consistently and then the left. I'll talk you through this. Four count exercise. Group A is offering an abduction, then a squat. Remember on the squat, the knee stays in between that toe and the ankle. Landing toe ball heel. Trudy, what's the change with group B? Well, group B, Lisa, is not adding the squat here. We're working just an isolated exercise here for the hip abductors without involving any of the buttock muscles or any other muscles in the thigh. Excellent. All right, let's go one step further. One count, right leg. Now with this, we've made it a bit more intense. And it's interesting, even though the right leg is moving, the left Doctor is working to support the pelvis. Let's do two more. Now let's get more intense. Group A is going to offer a half range of motion. Hello. Okay, the drips are dripping. It's getting harder. How are we doing, Group A? You still my friend? How are we doing at home? <laughs> I heard a few comments. I don't think I'd pass along onto TV land. However, we're going to count down. Two more. Everyone, left foot, four counts. Let's go. Oh, thank gosh for that. Hello. And again and again. So, we've now worked quadriceps. Hi, and welcome to part two in the Lisa Dow Step Video Series. Today's workout involves an interval training program. Within an interval training workout, you offer moderate to high intensity workloads, then alternate it with shorter periods of lower intensity or recovery work. Each work recovery segment is called a cycle, while the given number of cycles are called sets. Now, the number of sets and cycles depend entirely on the exercise goal. Recovery work can be passive or active. Now, passive involves slower rest movements, while active involves moderate exercise. Interval training offers both variety and motivation to individuals of mixed fitness levels. And finally, it will optimize development in both the aerobic and anaerobic cardiovascular systems. Now, the definitions of these terms can be found in the information booklet offered free to you in the first Lisa Dow Step video series. Our workout today involves a 10-minute warm-up, 35 minutes of interval training, which will be broken down into six minutes of aerobic step combinations, then three minutes of active recovery, muscle conditioning exercises, utilizing your two free Dyna bands. Finally, 15 minutes of muscle conditioning exercises, which will isolate the abdominals, inner and outer thighs. Now, our workout today, you will notice two groups, group A and group B. Group A being of less intensity, while Group B will offer a much more challenging workout. This will give you the choice to follow the group which closest relates to your personal level of fitness. And on that note, please remember to monitor your workload by utilizing the exertion chart also found in your information booklet. Let's talk about Dynabands. Dynabands are used to increase both muscular strength and endurance. Therefore, define your muscles and offer overall body tone. By utilizing Dynabands, you're able to isolate those hard-to-target areas needed to ensure proper postural stability. Here are some helpful tips. 
always keep a tension on the Dynaband. Don't let it slack. Watch your joints. Watch for hyperflexion or hyperextension. You know what you could think of? Think of having a plaster around your wrist and don't break the line. Always breathe out on exertion. Never hold your breath. Watch for nails and rings. Dynabands can rip and tear. Now, if you're interested in information concerning Dynabands, please watch for the end of the program. Now, think to yourself, is the cause worth the risk? In other words, if it hurts, don't do it. And on that note, try to execute proper form and posture. If the exercises are too difficult with the Dynabands, simply simulate the exercises without the Dynaband and try it again next time. Now, this also goes for the aerobic section. Of course, the first few times you see the choreography, it may seem a little bit tricky. If it wasn't challenging to you, you'd be bored. Make it your goal to get through this program. You will be successful, and I promise you, the time you put in will be so worth your while because you will see and you will feel the results. Let's go on. As with any exercise program, footwear is essential. Now today, we were lucky enough to be given Nike gear from head to toe, and their stuff is hot. Thank you very much, Nike, for sponsoring this program. Last but not least, hydration is number one. Always make sure that you have a glass of water nearby. Here are some positions we'll be utilizing with the Dynaband. In part B, we'll be doing an exercise called the upright row. And with the one band, you put your foot through and anchor your weight. Cross the band in the center. It becomes one band. Grab it with both hands and always pull up from your thighs, not your back and your arms. And then you offer the exercise. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you now is because during the workout, we'll be standing behind our platforms, and you wouldn't be able to see the feet. If you're using two bands, which both group A and group B will be using, you always place the band on the ground, step on them, and anchor your weight. Now, if this happens, don't worry about it. Just re-anchor your weight. Sometimes it does slip out. You would take the band, put it in the center, make it one, hold it with both hands, pull up with your thighs. And for instance, this would be the upright row exercise again. However, you'll also see us doing different exercises. You may hold the band inside your index fingers, like this, or in between your index finger and thumb. Whatever is comfortable for you is fine. But again, really try to make sure that you take good care of your wrists, not to hyperflex or hyperextend. Keep it neutral. Well, that's about it for the beginning. Now is a great time to meet the cast. Hi, and welcome back. Is everybody ready? Well, let's do it! Okay, everybody, march it out. Okay, bring the arms up for a count. Open the arms. Do it again. Open the arms. This time, bring it up, clap and pump it down. Bring it up, clap and pump it down. Do it again. Clap and pump. Whoop. Last time. Okay, no arms, tap on top. Tap. Let's do it four more times. Four, step three. Now, add one arm. Add both arms. Add one arm. Now both. Now one. Now both. This time, reach up. Do it again. Okay, from the top, let's go. March, clap and pump. March, clap and pump. Let's do it two more times. How are we doing so far? Yeah. Last time, everyone. Okay, tap on top. Let's go. Tap, bring it up. Warm it up and getting ready for what we have for the next 35 minutes. Two more. Bring it up. Last time. Now everyone, straight line to the right. Straight line, now this way. Add the arm, abduct, clap and roll. Do it again, abduct, clap and roll. Okay, next time, watch what we do. We're going to quarter turn right, tap back. Again, quarter
to turn right, tap back. But then how'd you guys do? Yeah? How'd you do at home? Last time. Now listen. We're going to go this way now. To the left. And tap. Good, good. To the left. And tap. Two more times. And guess what? We put it together. Now think. One each. Go to the right side. Right side. That way. Left side. Let's do it. Right side. Up. Left side. Good. From here, please. No arm. Heel forward. Heel. Make it wide. Is everybody ready? Scissor arm. Scissor arm. Four more times. Now, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now you'll see some of these arm patterns later. Okay, let's reduce it. Scissor, hallelujah. Scissor out, <laughs> hallelujah. Two more times, hallelujah. And this is the last time. Okay, everyone, march it out, march out. Half back, half wide. Add the arms. Hey, how do we do? Hey, four, hey, seven. Keep going. Now listen. Bring the elbows back now. Bring them back. Bring them back. Now give me a leg curl. Good, good. Are you ready? See tall arms. Shoulder up, shoulder down. Two more times. Put it together. Tap back now. For four. See tall. Shortly. Let's go. I'm going to join you on the other side of the platform. Okay, so don't be surprised. Let's go. This will be the last time. So pretty soon, I'm going to be joining you. Here we go. Everyone, here I go. Step, clap, and tap. Go. Yes. March it out, march it out. Now we're going to change legs, so tap your right foot. Are you ready to start? Lead step, let's go. Lead step. This is our first cycle. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's add the arms now. Push forward, clap two, three, cross, and puff. Push forward, clap two, three, cross, and puff. Now this is the A side. This is the A side. Are you ready, B side? Let's show them something different. We add a propulsion and the arms up, making it that much more of a challenge. You can always start with A and go to B two more times, or start with B and go to A. Either way, it's okay. Are you ready? B step, B step. So, let's add the arms now. Ready? Up. Now, a lot of these steps are very familiar you from the first program. A and B side has the same arms. From the top. Up. Clap two three. Cross and cross. Up. Clap two three. Any time you feel uncomfortable with the arms, just do the leg. It's okay. Okay. B step. Do it now. Good. Anything you do is okay with the program. You're trying. You're trying. Now I'm going to release my Go over the top. Do it now. Now go away. Now come to us. Now go away. Add the arms. Let's go. Reach the pull. So far, so good. How's your exertion level so far? Everyone at home, I want you right now to look at our feet. We're going up and back. Up and back. This is known as the A step. A step. That's right, everybody. A step. B side, B side. Again, we offer another challenging arm pattern. B side will always be there for you. Just think, it may take a few weeks, a day, a month. It doesn't matter. You will get to this B side and be able to challenge yourself. Yes. Are you ready? From the top, this time, starting with the left leg. Now think twice. 
V-step. You ready? Let's go. V-step. Now stay. Quarter turn to the right. A-step. Let's go. A. Move back. Forward. Now we still have one more combination to learn. Can you do it? I bet you can. your exertion level on your exertion chart, you should be about a five. Right now, you'll bend down and get your down to bend. Make sure you never drop your head lower than your chest. Hey, yes, lats, thanks guys. Legs are wide, bring the arms up. Is everybody ready? Okay, big breath in, big breath out. We're going to pull down and release. Pull down, I'm going to turn, quarter turn to the right. The movement ends just past your forehead, really. What you want to do is think, is bringing your elbows close to your, to your spine. When you bring the arms back, bring the arms close, trying to reach your spine. This is called the latissimus dorsi exercise. The latissimus dorsi is a very broad, powerful muscle that when sculpted actually looks like the letter V. This is called an anterior pull down. Are you ready everyone? Posterior pull down. Now I'm gonna turn around. If you notice, we're bringing our elbows towards our spine, leading with our elbows, always keeping attention with the Donovan. How about your wrists? How do they feel? Are they in a neutral position? Everyone, let's do one forward to end it. Forward. Posterior. We're right on time. And hold. Get on up. Every time you hear get on up, you know something else is coming. We're now all going to two Dynabands to work our medial deltoid. As I showed you in the beginning, anchor your feet on the band, cross the band, pull up with your thighs, shoulders down. Is everyone ready? 
Okay, breathing out. This is what it looks like. And release. Now you've already noticed, group A has one band. Group B has two. We're concentrating on a muscle called the medial deltoid. Now the deltoid are a group of muscles responsible for a variety of movements within the shoulder. Now we're working our medial deltoid. Next will be our anterior posterior. Now all these muscle groups are used in everyday functional activities. Just think, without strong shoulders, could we hold babies? Take the garbage out? I mean, the list goes on forever. Now at any time you want to release your band and simulate the exercise, it's okay. So take time to grow into this program just like anything else. But isn't that a challenge? How you doing? Are you breathing out on exertion? Yeah, thank you. Is your neck relaxed? How about your wrist? Yes? Who said this was easy? It's not. Two more. I can hear the cue. This is it. We're done with the first cycle. Oh, well done. Well done. Shake it out. Put the band on. And welcome back to part two. This section will offer endurance-type toning exercises for the inner thighs, outer thighs, and the abdominals. Let's talk about the inner thighs for a minute. The inner thigh muscles are called the adductors, and their function is to stabilize the pelvis when you stand and or when you walk. Now, fine, we'll, we'll offer the endurance-type exercises and tone them, but you know what happens? Even though we walk a lot and use the adductors, we also sit a lot of the times and or cross our legs a lot of the times, meaning that these muscles get shortened. So, for the next 15 minutes, what we're going to do is offer both endurance-type toning exercises and flexibility exercises for the inner thighs, outer thighs, and abdominals. Before we start, I'm going to show you on the floor, I'm going to simulate the position that all of us are going to be utilizing with our, with our platforms. The reason I'm doing this is because you won't be able to get a good picture from our alignment and from how the camera is viewing, all right? So if I'm lying down, let's say the platform is here. My leg would be on top, so let's make pretend here's my leg. My neck and head are relaxed comfortably in my arm. And my bottom leg is a leg I'll be using. Now, a good cue. Do you see my knee? My knee is parallel to the floor. And I'm making sure that my foot is in line with my knee. And my knee is always in line with my hip. My front arm is comfortable. Make pretend this would be your step. Front arm is pushing off the step so that you don't roll. And make sure your shoulders, <laughs> your shoulders and your hips are stacked, meaning one on top of the other. And simply adduct, meaning bringing your leg towards the midline of the body. OK, that's about it. I'm now going to get into position, and we'll get started. All right. What do you say, you guys? You ready for part two? Yes. OK. Let's all get into position, please. Now you can see why I want to show you that position, because you're not able to see too well, because they're behind the platforms. Legs are relaxed. Hand on top, head relaxed. OK, let's do it. All right. What I want to do is simply lift the leg up and down. Now, I'm able to see you, all right? So I'm going to be talking to you, something new and different. What I want you to make sure more than anything else is that that foot is in line with the knee, be relaxed, parallel to the floor, and that that knee stays in line with that hip, okay? Now, what's also really important is you want to simulate a standing position. In other words, don't let your trunk or your torso relax to the floor. Think of trying to shine a light through your waistline. Can you do it? Okay, we're going to do this now, last eight. Eight times. You'll start feeling a little bit of an overload very shortly. And push off the platform to make sure you don't roll. OK, everyone, we're now going to change the rhythm. Pulse three times. Here's one, two, three, gently down. Don't ever drop your leg, OK? And release. Pulse one, two, and three, and release. Good, good. How are we doing so far back there? How are you doing at home? Good? 
We'll do this one more time, okay? Let's change it again. Everyone, hold for three counts. Hold, don't move, don't move, and release. Now this is called an isometric contraction. Guess what? The definition is in your information booklet. And release, hold, don't move. Are you ready? Let's do the combo. Check this out. Lift up, extend back, down, and back to beginning. Lift up, extend back, down, and from the beginning. This is called the square. Think of the square. Now notice everyone else has their elbow up. If I did that, you wouldn't be able to see me, so that's why my hand is down. Zealand's first in-home step video, I'm Lisa Dow. This is the first in a series of upcoming exercise videos that will be available to you. Upon opening your package, you will have received a step platform, separate blocks used for increased intensity, and a booklet containing both educational and other valuable information pertaining to this program. Enjoy reading the booklet at your leisure. However, before you start, pay special attention to the sections marked safety issues, stepping considerations, suggestions, and make sure that none of the medical contraindications indications apply to you. This video is in two parts. First, 45 minutes of cardiovascular step combinations. Next, about 12 minutes of muscular strengthening exercises which will target your abdominals and back. Both the breakdown and explanation of this entire program is within your booklet. So again, please take the time to read it thoroughly. You'll notice my performers are utilizing various step heights. You'll notice that they're also demonstrating different arm and leg patterns. You see, the versatility of this program is such that individuals of mixed fitness levels or step experience can simply join in the same class at the same time. Increasing or decreasing the step height will respectively increase or decrease the intensity level of the class. Offering more complicated arm and leg patterns will just about do the same. So, I've purposely choreographed this program so to cater to a variety of levels. On that note, let's meet the cast. All right, is everybody ready? Yes. All right. Feet 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, please. Knees over ankles. Hold the buttock in tightly. Abdominals held tight. Shoulders over hips. Chest lifted. All right, let's do it. Four more, that's four, three, two. Arms up, let's go. It's up, bring it down. And down. Two more. That's one. And two. All the way around. Reach up. And down. Lift. Bring it down. Two more. One more. Hold here. Take that head to the right. Center. Left side. That way. Left. Center. Right side. Shoulders. Forward. Back. And forward. And back. For four. Three. Two. Right shoulder up. Bring it up. Now left. Now right. Now left. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Bring it around. And it's back. And back. And back. Add the thighs. Four. Three. Two. Side to side. Right side. Make it a little bigger. 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 All the way around. Reach up. Up. Up and around. Warm it up. Four. Three. Two. Up. Big circles, big circles. Count down. Three. Up, right, row. Up, down, down, down. Four more. Four. That's three. Now to the side. Point those feet. Change. Up. Four more. Point it. Three. Two. Down and up. Down, up. Down, up. Four more. Count down. Three. Two, reach to the sky, reach up and down. Intensity changing. Four more, three, one arm, reach up, up. Now cross the chest, cross the chest. Reach up, high, cross the chest, flex the foot. Warming up the lower extremities now. Reach up high, notice the difference. Now get down. Low. Reach up high. Are you ready? Get down low. Now stay here. Stay. Stay. Both. And in. Up. That's it. Four more. Four. Three. Arms out and down.
So next combination, corner to corner, three taps back, no arms. Now, corner to corner, three taps back. That's one, that's two, three. Corner to corner, tap up, one, this is two. Let's now add the arms, just the arms. Clap, abduct, now down, abduct. We'll always use progression, corner to corner. Teach you just a little at a time. All right, corner, abduct. Abduct your thigh. Now, abduct, bring it down. A little bit harder. Corner to corner. Don't forget, the arms are confusing. Just master the footwork. Corner again, everyone. Work those hips, work that butt. I guess I could go on and on and on. I won't bore you. All that information's in your information booklet, thank you, that you've already read before doing this. Hi, and welcome to the prenatal exercise program. I'm Lisa Dow, and I'd like to introduce my two performers who will be working with me today. This is Linda, and this is Melissa. Pregnancy affects each woman differently. However, being pregnant has and will always be one of the most exciting nine months during a woman's lifetime. Attitudes towards women and their bodies have changed. No longer is pregnancy a time to fear. Or is it a time to sit back with your feet propped up for 40 weeks? Instead, women are purchasing larger workout gear and continuing to both exercise and go on with their lives. Because of society's emphasis on fitness, women tend to feel as much pressure to exercise during pregnancy as not to exercise. And as a mother-to-be, you instinctively feel a responsibility to your unborn to make sure that your activities and decisions are healthy choices. Pregnancy is a time to think about priorities, and there'll be many adjustments, both physical and mental. The important issue here is to remember that pregnancy is a time to maintain fitness, and not the time to attempt newer fitness goals or expectations. Exercise can be a real bonus, because it contributes to a good body image and both a sense of comfort and control during a time when there are so many uncontrollable changes occurring. This video is targeted for the mother-to-be who is in a fit condition prior to pregnancy. Let me reiterate, for example, if aerobic dance, resistance type training, running, skiing, biking, swimming, just to name a few, were part of your usual routine, then this video will be appropriate for you. If, however, you've led a sedentary type lifestyle, for instance, a weekly routine that didn't include some type of aerobic or resistance type training, then this video will be inappropriate for you. In a situation such as this, it's best that you check with your doctor to find out what type of exercise mode would be best tailored for your personal need during your pre- and postnatal time. With any exercise program, there are words of caution. And with a specialized program such as this, it's all the more imperative that you consult with your doctor prior to proceeding with the program. I will be following all the ACOG exercise guidelines and will demonstrate as many, de as many modifications as possible. In your video, you would have noticed a personal information booklet with explanations and definitions of various words and terms I'll be referring to during the workout. Please read it thoroughly. Helping us today are two individuals, and together we'll offer some variations of our routine. Now this should help you to feel most comfortable during the contents of our program, because you'll simply have the choice to choose which individual connects closest to your exercise level of intensity. Before we begin, I'd like to go over an area of controversy which deals with strengthening the abdominals during pregnancy. Upon conception, the hormone relaxin is secreted into the bloodstream. Relaxin causes the body's joints and connective tissues to soften and stretch so that the pelvic outlet can accommodate the baby prior to and during birth. Although relaxin proves to be a great asset, it also subjects other parts of the body to become increasingly vulnerable to undue injury. An example would be twisting an ankle. 
or straining your lower back, shoulder, or hip. Now, the rectus abdominis is separated by three equally spaced tendinous intersections, and the muscles are joined in the middle by a band of connective tissue called the linea alba. Now, normally this band is about half an inch in width, but because of relaxin, about 30% of pregnant women experience an excessive loosening of this seam. This condition is called diastasis recti abdominis. Now, prior to exercising your abdominals, you'll want to see if you're possibly developing diastasis. So let's take a look. Linda, would you help me for a minute, please? Great. Now, Linda's going to lie down on her back, which is known as a supine position. Her knees are relaxed and her legs are slightly apart. Her hands are going to go behind her head. Now, the separation will be in the area of the abdomen around the navel. Now, Linda's going to flex her spine and contract up and hold. You'll either see a tent-like structure or actually feel a separation. Great. If that separation is two or three fingers width or wider, it's best to discontinue exercising your abdominals unless closely monitored. Please check with your doctor if you have any other questions. Thanks, Linda. Now, after reading your booklet, which includes controversy concerning the abdominals, I will now show you some various abdominal exercises so that when the time comes that we're isolating them, you can make your own choice as to which position you prefer to utilize. I'll show you the standing position. First of all, feet are in a 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock position, knees relaxed, buttock is tucked. Important points, the area of flexion is going to be between the sternum and the pubic bone. I'll refer to these points as A and B. Hands can be here, here, or here. If they're here, please don't put any extra pressure on your head and neck by tugging. Keep the shoulders and elbows wide and open. I refer to this as a square position. And also keep the shoulders over the hips. I'm going to turn slightly this way. Always breathe out on exertion and offer a pelvic tilt. So here we go. Breathing out, pelvic tilt, and contract by flexing points A and B together. Come to a neutral spot when you extend. Be careful that you don't hyperextend. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. Breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting A and B together. Hold and neutral spot. Now please check your booklet for the definition of internal and external oblique. Same rules apply, but we're going to add a rotation, not a twist, a rotation. Think shoulder to hip. Okay, breathing out, pelvic tilt. A and B together and a slight rotation. Notice how I'm keeping the shoulders square. Breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting A and B, and neutral. Okay, now I'm going to ask Melissa to please come and help me. And we're going to see another variation. Now Melissa is going to be doing a side-lying position. Important points. Melissa's hips and shoulders are stacked. That means one on top of the other. All right? Her knees are relaxed and slightly in front of her pelvis. Her arms could be straight out behind her head, but we're going to show a variation with her hand in front to help push her away. So, breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting A and B together, hold, and release. Great. We're now going to go right to the obliques. We're going to change the hand position for a variation. This part of her arm is going to actually help to push her off. So, breathing out, Pelvic tilt, contracting, flexing A and B, rotate, hold, and release. Great. Thank you, Melissa. We're now going to go back to Linda, who, again, is in the supine position. Now, Linda's arms could actually be out straight or behind her head, and that's what we're going to do today. So, breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting and flexing, hold and release. Going right into the obliques, we're going to, and again, Linda's arms could change position, but she's going to keep them there. Breathing out, pelvic tilt, contract and flex, rotate. Notice how the elbows and shoulders are wide and square, and release. Now hold. Now, both Linda and Melissa would have changed sides to make, um, to make it even. Great. Thank you. Now, I'm going to show you the last position, a hand and knee position. Now, please check your booklet for the definition of carpal tunnel syndrome. You'll realize why it's my choice to be on my fingertips instead of hyperextending my wrist. My elbows are relaxed. My hands are underneath my shoulders. My legs are apart. My knees are underneath my hips. So, breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting, flexing, bring A and B together neutral. Please be careful. Tendency here is to really 
hyperextend the back, okay? One more time, breathing out, pelvic tilt, contracting A and B together, hold. To go into the obliques, same thing, at a slight rotation, neutral, doing it again last time, slight rotation and neutral. Be careful of momentum, which would cause you to wag your tail a bit, okay? Great, so we're done with that. Thank you, ladies. We're done. Now, to go on, during our workout, we are going to be practicing to contract and release our pelvic floor muscles, better known as Kegel exercises. Now, because we can't visually see our pelvic floor muscles, unlike our abdominals, bums, and thighs, we tend to forget them. However, this group of muscles are actually the support system for the organs of the lower abdomen and will affect a woman's ability to control the tightening and releasing of her vagina, urethra, and anus. The pelvic floor muscles act as a sling to support the weight of the growing uterus during pregnancy and then stretch to permit the passage of the baby down and out of the birth canal. The Kegel exercises will help to teach you to maintain both muscle tone and control and so by isolating them you can become aware of how they feel when both contracted and release. Remember, the release of a Kegel is just as important as the contraction itself. To do the exercise, think of stopping yourself from urinating. You want to tighten those urethra muscles and then relax. Next, you want to tighten in and draw up the vaginal muscles. Think of an elevator. Lift up three floors, hold, and then release. Next, you want to tighten the muscles that surround the anus. Now, this is a hard one, so you really have to visualize and think about it. Tighten it and release. This exercise should be done slowly, with control, various times during the day, and in any position that's comfortable for you. Going on, we've already discussed the effects of relaxing. However, I'd like to reiterate on some other points relating to its effects on the body. For individuals used to busy type movements, you may have already experienced some tugs or pulls that can be quite painful and uncomfortable. This is caused by the round ligaments that support the uterus and become stretched as the fetus grows. During our workout, we'll be careful not to include any twisting, quick footing patterns, or sudden lateral changes that could cause these ligaments to tug or pull. The symphysis pubis are the bones of the pubic arch. Due to relaxing and softening of the cartilage that connects the bones, pain can be felt in that area also. During our workout, we'll be careful not to place ourselves in position that could cause discomfort. Lardosis is an anterior pelvic tilt caused by the enlarged uterus. The tendency is to adapt a sway back appearance. The hamstrings and the abdominals will stretch while the back extensors and hip flexors will shorten. During our workout, we'll be practicing an exercise called the pelvic tilt. Now, the pelvic tilt will help to teach us to properly realign our pelvis. It will also relieve lower back discomfort. Kyphosis is an exaggerated curve of the thoracic or upper spine, causing an unattractive round-shouldered appearance. The pectoralis major will shorten and chin jut could occur, looking something like this. During our workout, we'll be performing exercises that will teach us to demonstrate proper posture. You will want to talk to your doctor also about the possibility of toxemia and endema prior to proceeding with the program. Now, you'll notice during our workout that some of us are using a Dynaband and some of us are using a ball. If you're interested in purchasing a Dynaband, please watch for details at the end of the program. The balls can be purchased at toy stores or supermarkets. And finally, last but not least, we have two very special guests with us today who will offer their personal expertise on the subject of pre- and postnatal exercise. I'd like to introduce Dr. Richard Fisher and Dr. Kim Lobendam. Hi, Hi and welcome. Welcome. Tap on four. One, two, three, tap. Two more times. Okay, now come towards me. Let's go. Now move away. Now come towards me. Now move away. Add the arms, ladies. Great. Now clap on four. One, two, three, four. Now, you're going to hear me during the workout use the word choice. When you hear choice, that means you have three levels of intensity for you to choose from. Linda lowest, Melissa moderate, or me highest. Let's learn Melissa's. Here we go, knee up. Now Melissa has her knee forward. 
someone like me, big belly, I have to bring my knee to the side. That's your choice. Let's learn mine. Extending the leg, extending the knee. Soft knees, though. Great. Now, ladies, march it out. Great. Now, the next step is called the flasher. What you're going to do is step right and with a heel left. And it's five, six, seven, go. Here you go. I'll tell you why we call it the flasher in a minute. Four, three, two. Step side to side. Great. Soft knees, hips are square. Breathing. Do four of each. Flasher. One, two, three. Step side to side. Great. Now come forward with a flasher. Good job. Now, clap it back. Now may pretend you've got a coat on. All right? And someone's gonna say, hey, I hear you're having a baby. And you say as you open your coat, check this out. Show your belly. Show your belly. And back you go. Now, Linda, what, would, what number would your level intensity be now? Melissa? A four? A four? I'm definitely going up to a five. Okay, let's go from the top. Move it. Choice. And still building. That's it. Flasher, show your belly. Be proud. Back you go. Great. Linda's step for four. Melissa's choice. Move, move, move. Breathing. And my choice. Stay here or go to Melissa. Great. Now down to Linda. This is where you move. If you want, give me eight more. Eight, seven. Breathing, four, three. Grapevine, choice. Three choices. Stay, that's it. Stay, again. Three choices of intensity. Great. Two more. Stay here, please. Stay here for four, three. Two, elbows back, go. Good. Hip extension doubles, please. Touch your toe. Come to me for four. Big. Doubles. Move it. Breathing. Back you go. This is where you want to move. And it's eight, seven. Four more. Go into hip flexion, please. Get comfortable with the legs. Now add the arms. Add the arms. Eight more. Eight, seven, four more. Heels down, please. Heels down. Elbows back. You guys ready to go on? Step side to side. Now push forward. Push, push. And that's it. Now we're going to go into the trapezius. Please notice Melissa. Melissa is going to stand on her band, wrap the band in the center, and grab enough so she has some in the middle. And it's up. And it's up. We're now concentrating on the trapezius, a group of muscles located in the upper back, kite-shaped muscle, while the latissimus dorsi, the first one we did, is a V-shaped muscle. Let's talk to Melissa. Notice that her elbows are higher than her wrists. She's breathing, good girl, good alignment. The first exercise was a pull down. This is a lifting up. Let's talk to Linda. Great. Even though she's in the chair, she's still working hard. Always wants to think that someone's there resisting her. Great. Good. Two more, ladies. One. Ladies, let's now go into rhomboids. The rhomboids, a group of muscle located in back. Welcome. And welcome to the Dynaband Body Sculpting Workout. I'm Lisa Dow. The 65 minute program will be on an intermediate advanced level, and we'll be working with both one and two Dynabands. During the workout, we'll be isolating both the upper and lower regions of our bodies. However, we will pay special attention to our abdominals, bums, and thighs. 
With body sculpting, it's important to understand how, by utilizing opposing muscle groups, you'll lessen the chance of injury. Now, with any resistance type program, there are words of caution. And with Dynabands, many of the exercises are isometric. This may not be advantageous if you're hypertensive because isometric exercises do tend to elevate blood pressure. Dynabands have been known to work well during pregnancy. And I will admit that I'm eight weeks pregnant myself. However, it's imperative that you consult with your doctor prior to proceeding with any exercise program, especially one on this content, of this duration, and on this level. Plus, during the workout, there are exercises that are contraindicated after the 16th week of pregnancy. So if you are pregnant, please use your best judgment prior to proceeding with this program. To go on, pay special attention to your joints in that they don't hyperflex or hyperextend. Always keep attention on the Dynaband. And like with any resistance type program, you must remember to breathe. Always exhale on exertion. Now Dynabands come in various colors which coincide with their thickness and strength. Green is intermediate, purple advanced, and silver offers the highest of resistance. If you're interested in purchasing a Dynaband, either for personal use or for a facility, please watch for details at the end of the program. Helping us today are 12 individuals of different shapes and sizes, with age ranges between 20 and 60. This should help you to both understand and visualize how you can feel most comfortable during the contents of the workout by simply identifying with one of its individuals. Now before we begin, I'd like to go through two exercises included in the workout that are commonly misunderstood. The first is the basic squat. The squat utilizes the knee extensors. Hi, and welcome back. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, we'll have feet 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock position, knees over toes, relax, sit in your thighs, buttocks are tight, abdominals contracted, shoulders down. Okay. Lift it up. Bring it down. Breathe in. Lift it up. Bring it down. Drop the head to the right. Center and left. Rotate it and over. Center. Drop that chin. Drop it down. And neutral. Add the shoulders for four, for three, two, up and down. Elevate, dip press. And elevate. Two more times. One and two. Arms. Forward, pull it back. Forward, pull it back. Two more. Now medial deltoid, everybody. To the side, to the front. Anterior, medial. Hold it here and around. Lift and down. And the legs, sit. Anterior, medial and around. Now around four times, everyone. Four, three, big arms. Last time, double down, pulse down for four, for three, for two. Now lift up the right heel for four, three. Now lift the left and it's up. Do the same thing, add a shoulder. Four, three, two, and change for four, for three. Reduce it to two. One, two, and one. Do again. Change to one. Change to one. One. Four, three, two, add a tricep. Push, push. Four, three. Now, side to side, lunge. Good. Add a bicep, go. Push, two. Four more times. That's four, that's three. Now drop the arms on the thighs for four, three. Stay center, add the shoulder, right shoulder. Good, you'll stop on four. That's one. Mm -hmm. Two, three, and hold on four. First static stretch. Hold it there for four, three, two, now. Side to side, to the right. Stop on four again. That's one, that's two, that's three. Hold it here for four, for three. Parallel feet and tuck it under. Heel ball toe, toe ball heel. You're also adding a pelvic tilt. Two more times. That's one. That's two. Now adjust the pelvis. Tuck, release, and tuck. Add the arms. Come forward. Now add the abdominal contraction. Breathing out, creating what's known as a C shape with your spine. Hold it here, everyone. Breathing out for four, three, two. Now lift it up and stretch for four, 
three, drop your right, drop your left, and squat it down, and tuck, and down. Add the arms, reach and pull. Now lift up your left heel, lift it up. This time lift up your left leg, sit, and up, and sit. Double time, sit, up, four, three. Now lift up, raising the intensity. Four more, four, three, two, drop the arms now for four, three. Step out and kick your butt down. Working hamstrings. Add the arms and it's down. Up. Two more. One. Center. Elevate and depress the shoulders. Elevate. We're working both the medial anterior and posterior deltoids. Okay, anterior. Three counts. Let's go. Hold. Two. It's very difficult doing those isometric holds. Group A is going to lunge back. Knee under hip. Three, and release. Hold. One count for five. One, two, three. This time, hold for three. Hold. Two, three. Last time. Hold. Okay. Elevate and depress. Lift up. This is like your little breather. Guess what? about. This 90 minute video is shot in two parts. The first section is a 45 minute intermediate low impact cardiovascular workout. Now with all exercise there are words of caution and because of its duration this section isn't ideal after the 16th week of pregnancy nor is it advantageous for the obese as a mode of aerobic exercise to burn fat because of its intensity. The new student may want to begin slowly then progress until he or she becomes confident. You may at any time drop your arms if the intensity proves to be more than you're used to. And if you become dizzy, nauseous, or breathless, discontinue this section until you've had medical advice. If you have any medical condition, for instance, hypertension or diabetes, it is recommended that you obtain a medical clearance before proceeding with this program. Now to check our heart rates during the cardiovascular section, we'll be using a scale of intensity starting with zero, going all the way to 10. For our purposes during this intermediate workout, we'll work at an intensity between five and eight. Now the second part of this video is body sculpting with Dynaband. Now we'll be utilizing the Dynaband specifically for our upper body region, then show on the floor another variation of body sculpting without the Dynaband. Now, helping us with this video today are 11 individuals of different shapes and sizes with age ranges from 20 to 60. Now, this should help you to both understand and visualize how you can feel most comfortable during the content of this video by identifying with one of these individuals. Now is a great time to preset your video and stay tuned for aerobics. Reach and pull. 